Today I wanted to test with you if we can generate a very simple expense tracker app in Swift UI using only ChatGPT. And first thing we want to do is we wanted to ask ChatGPT how we can do that. And we need to be a little bit specific about our prompt so ChatGPT knows exactly what it should do. Um, can you create an expense tracker for Swift? UI, I want to have those features inside, um, creating, editing and deleting an expense. I also want to have um, a category which I can assign to each expense. When you um, add, edit the expense, I uh, want to choose this category. And then I wanted to have a home screen where I summarize all my expenses. Uh, home screen which summarizes all my expenses. The last thing I want to have is um, I want to have data persistence um, so that when we close the app and restart it, we have the data inside we previously put into it. Uh, okay, all right, that looks a little bit shitty grammatically, but we will just see what it comes up with. Okay, so the first thing is we define a model for the expense. We also care about the data persistence using the um, user defaults, which I like more. It's more simple, I would say, um, rather than um, including the score data. Next thing is creating the views. And we will just see where we go from there when we just um, copy and pasting this into our Xcode project. So. For this, we wanted to start a new Xcode project. We wanted to say it's an iOS app. I don't want to use core data here. Um, expenses tracker, whatever. I create it over here. And then I just copy paste the files which ChatGPT gave us. So this is the model definition. I just create new Swift files for those. New file expense model. We just paste this over here. And then we wanted to have the data persistence. This is our this is a view model. I can just put it in here as well. Or better better to find a new class and putting it in there. Expands view model. Then we wanted to create those views, the summary view. Expands summary view. We also wanted to have the add and edit view. And then we have this entry point, which we already defined in our app, I guess. Um, expenses tracker app, we just include the content view over here. The content view is at the moment just displaying hello world so we need to change this and we wanted to include our expenses summary view instead of the content view just put it in here and then there were some errors so it seems that ChatGPT has um, generated some code which is not working exactly but we can just ask to fix it so 
Let's see, it seems that the expense does not conform to protocol decodable and encodable. And we can just ask ChatGPT to fix this. We can just put in those arrows over here, just copy pasting it. Copy and see what it comes up with. Here we go. Okay, this error seems to be gone. And we can see if we can just pass the, paste the screenshot from all these errors and uh, put that into ChatGPT as well, asking what we did wrong or what ChatGPT did wrong. So we just screenshot it. What's with those errors? Let's see what it says about this. I never tried that actually. I never tried to put in several errors at once using a screenshot. Okay, we wanted to have some more import statements. We can do this. Um, was it? Cannot find type. Cannot find type. Okay, we can just import it here. Those errors are gone now. Uh, let's see what else it says. Generic struct requires that the view model conforms to observable object. Let's see what else it says. Um, oh, we should do some more updates. Okay, let's do this. Copy the code it suggests over here. We just paste it in here. Let's see what kind of errors we still got. We have some in the expense summary. And seems that all the errors were solved and we can just give it a test run. So I will put it on my um, iPhone simulator I have on my MacBook, but you can also test on a real device. And let's see what this app does. I actually never tried before, so I'm very excited to see if it's um, working or, or if it even is close to what we, what we asked for. Um, where's the simulator? Okay, it's just starting. Let's see. Hopefully we will see more than just, just a white screen. Here <laughs> we have the expenses. All right, I mean, it's pretty basic, but we can just click on the plus sign. It opens a new view. We can say um, that I have, I don't know, purchased a car and it costs like a thousand dollars. It's, I don't know, for other and the expense was on the 2nd of October. I wanted to save this. And here we go, I have the car. This is pretty cool. What else I purchased? Uh, flat screen TV. This was only 500, let's say, and it was for entertainment purposes and I purchased it on the 3rd of October. And here we have flat screen and the car. Now the important question is if all this data is persisted if we restart the app. And we can just close it over here, start it again, and the persistence is working. That is, that is pretty good. I didn't expect it that. And the only thing I wanted to have as well is a short summary. Um, so the expenses are here, but I definitely wanted to have a summary, how much I spent. And I will just ask ChatGPT to do this. Um, I'm not yet sure where exactly we have this view. Let's see. Um, it's here. Um, here we have defined this view to show uh, this and I just wanted to ask if it can summarize all my expenses. Um, Let's see what it says about this. Okay, I that's pretty good. It also has in mind that we use the view model and it asked me to add this code to the view model. So let's do this. 
expense view model, put this in over here. And then for sure, we wanted to update the expense summary view. Um, let's see. Expense summary view. And let's rebuild this whole thing. Let's see. That looks pretty good. So um, it has just uh, given us a total expenses of 105,000. And it also um, put in a tiny graph to show um, how is the distribution of our expenses over the different categories we have defined over here. And I would call this a success, to be honest, because um, within 10 minutes or so, we were able to get this app basically only out of ChatGPT with uh, some iterations, asking it about um, fixing some bugs and adding some new features. But this is very, very awesome that an uh, AI can do this. So hope you learned something, you enjoyed the video and uh, hope you will go for creating some of your own apps with ChatGPT.